Happy Friday, everybody. Amber Goodrich here with Eat Yourself Fit. I um, had talked about the importance of protein in our Quick Tip Tuesday, and I thought maybe it'd be a nice um, presentation to show you like what types of protein or, or how much protein should we be consuming. Um, so in general, it, this and this totally depends on your body size and how active you are. Um, but in general, for women, we, we want to be consuming at least 100 grams of protein per day. Again, that is a total generalization, typically more if we're, uh, it depends on our size and how active we are. Like the more active we are, the more protein we need. Um, and if you're a man, then you probably, you're about 150. You need at least about 150 grams of protein a day. So I want to show you what about 100 grams of protein looks like so that you have an idea of what, how much, how much protein you should be consuming. Um, so this would be like, like a good varied like variety of uh, protein sources. And this is about 100 grams in front of me right now. So what do I have? I have half a pound of uh, ground beef. Okay, and that's about 40 grams of protein right there. Um, this is just top of me. So throw this on like a salad and you can, you know, make it like a taco salad or you can, you know, throw it in, you know, tacos or whatever. It's just, just a half a pound of taco. Um, bacon, bacon's about three grams per slice. Here's two, two slices. So here's six grams right here. Okay. Uh, then I have eggs. Eggs are about six grams per egg. So I've got about 12 here. So like every morning I have two eggs and two slices of bacon, right? So I'm starting my day off right there with 18 grams of protein. Um, chia seeds. Chia seeds are high in protein. Okay. So there's five grams here and one tablespoon of chia seeds. And these, like, if you, if you, if you're a smoothie drinker, if you throw these into your smoothies, bam, added protein. Fabulous. Um, this Greek yogurt, this, this is the Faye 5%, 18 grams, 18 grams of protein in this Faye, Faye yogurt. So you throw this with some chia seeds in your smoothie, protein shake right there, bam, got it. Okay, we've got string cheese, seven grams of protein in our, in our string cheese. I have got half a cup here of cashews, 10 grams of protein in, in the cashews. Then I've got these little um, pistachio packs. Hey, there's four grams of protein in the pistachio packs. So right here, here you go. This is about a hundred grams of protein. And this is at minimum what we should be consuming per day. Again, if you're more active or uh, if you're a taller person or you have a little bit more weight on you, you probably want a little bit more than hundred grams. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show you what that looked like. Um, with the chia seeds, one thing to say, I said, put them in your shakes. Uh, I like to put them in my, my, in my smoothies. They are, they uh, do expand in water. So I wanted to show you, um, oh, I didn't bring anything to start with, but like this, I put a half a tablespoon of chia seeds in water. I wanted to sh show you a little bit about, oh, maybe this camera, here it is. Like it gets really jelly. I don't know if you can see how gel, like it gels up. So, um, that's one thing to be aware of is that it can change the textures of your smoothies. And if you don't like that, then just be aware. But there you go. Here's about 100 grams of protein. Um, and why am I doing this? Well, because I think, first of all, it's hard for us to visualize like what uh, the, the amounts of things that we should be eating. Um, and I get asked like what I do to stay fit. And it's kind of an uncomfortable question for me to get because it's not that I don't like talking about fitness in general or about health in general. I love talking about food because you know that I love food. But um, I think people want to hear like the secret, right? They want to know what's your secret, Amber. And, uh, and there is no secret. <laughs> so I, I feel like guilty almost because I can't give people what they want to hear. They want to hear, um, you know, that I'm doing keto or that I have this special pill that I really like, or like, or that I drink these special smoothies and all of a sudden the weight dropped off. Um, and the truth is when people ask me, what do you do to stay fit? I tell them the only thing I can offer them is the truth. And the truth is, is that I eat more, but I eat well and I prioritize protein, right? That's, that's my unsecret secret. Okay. Prioritize protein. I wake up and I have eggs and bacon almost every single morning. You guys, I start my day off with protein. I make sure that I consume yogurts that are low sugar and high in protein. Um, I, you know, I, snack on nuts. So I'm eating a lot. I'm just eating really well. Um, and, and, and if you prioritize your protein, you're already better off. And most people are under consuming protein and then they just can't figure out why they're not recovering well after workouts or, um, you know, they, they, they hurt themselves more often. Um, you need the protein, you got to consume the protein. And, and I also want to say like, uh, maybe I'll show you this almost embarrassing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I also want to show you that 
by prioritizing protein, your body will start making shifts on its own okay? because it uses protein in such important and varied ways in our body. We need to be giving ourselves protein. So I, people look at me and they think um, that I spend maybe a lot of time working out or that I spend a lot of time at the gym. And can I tell you something? Here's my secret. I don't even have a gym membership. I don't even have a gym membership. I strength train about three to three times a week on average. And I go for runs sometimes because I really like to run, right? So I do that out of enjoyment. And this is the result. I, and I have to tell you, like, look, I've had two kids. Right? And I just want to show you, um, I've got some definition in my abs. And I want you to know that that is when they tell you abs are made in the kitchen. That is no lie. That is no lie, right? So prioritize your protein and these changes will come naturally to your body, right? I do not work out heavily and the result is muscles. <laughs> Why? I'm consuming a lot of protein. Now I do have to be honest that I, uh, for me, I'm in the middle of a build right now. I'm trying to build muscle, which is a little bit crazy for me to say that I'm even trying to like gain weight. Um, the old Amber would have been like, what? But I am, I'm trying to, I am trying to build um, some more muscle. So I admittedly do have to eat more protein than what I have here. But I think that this is a beautiful visual for what a hundred grams of protein looks like. So if you can just try to prioritize protein a little bit more in your uh, diet, then you're already doing yourself a favor. And I am a meat eater, but even if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, there are some great protein sources out there for you. You can get your protein in, um, like firm tofu or quinoa, edamame, right? So there are absolutely ways for you to get in protein if you are um, if you are plant based, um, if you uh, follow a plant based diet as well. Uh, anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, again, I just thought it would be a good visual to see about what 100 grams of protein looks like. Aim for about at least 100 grams a day if you're active go more. Um, I am trying to get about 150 to 175 grams a day. I'm not doing great at it, I'll be honest, but um, at least get your, your 100 grams in a day. Um, yeah. Until next time, eat more, eat well, and eat happy.